Hey guys, it's Jasmine. I love food. I love that food connects us. I love that it brings us together. Made me start thinking, do you think we can use food to communicate with ghosts? So today we are going to a haunted restaurant and it's also a historical Hollywood hotspot. And we're gonna try and cook for a couple of ghosts. What do you guys think about that? I'm a little skeptical that we're actually gonna see anything. I'm scared. You guys ready? Yeah, I think. So you guys believe in ghosts, right? I, I get scared of ghost movies, but I've never seen a ghost. So I guess part of me must believe. <laughs> well, you got one avid believer. I'm skeptical that anything's gonna happen. I believe there's a possibility. I'm terrified. I hope we don't see anything or hear anything. Fair warning, I, I did bring us on this crazy adventure, but if something happens, I may bail. First, we're gonna talk to a couple of employees, the historian and a, a couple of others who have had spooky experiences. And then we're going to the kitchen to try and communicate with the former owner, Lem Kwan, and then the former bartender, Lindy. Wow. So those are two like known ghosts potentially there? There's actually more. Oh, we're here. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> My name is Maxim Shapovalov. I am a historian and archivist for Formosa Cafe. Formosa Cafe is a bar and restaurant in West Hollywood, which first was opened in 1939. Formosa was always famous for four things. It's a place where you can have a decent meal, stiff drink, cash a check, or make a bet. Formosa was visited by many celebrities, Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, John Wayne, all those big names, they've all been here. They've been here all. Somebody's trying to get. No. No? They're gone? No one was there? Yeah, they got. So? See? No one. They are ghosts. Someone just tried to get through the door mm -hmm. and no one was there. Well, Lindy Brewerton is the gentleman who, was, who spent 40 years behind the bar. Could he be a ghost? I would think so. I, I don't have any ghost stories, but many people have. When Lem Kwon was a chef in the restaurant, he, uh, his specialty was surf and tour. He would serve steak and the lobster and of course Chinese food. Seems like the most popular was wonton soup. Many people made comments that, you know, I love Formosa, I love food, atmosphere, but wonton was like the one. If you want to make a connection with Lem Kwon tonight or any ghosts in this place, why don't you start with wonton soup? I wish you luck. I feel like you're sending us <laughs> to the ghosts. The Formosa Cafe is 100% haunted, and I'll tell you why. This is the main bar. The main bar has been here since 1939. Prior to that, it has been here since the 20s as a, as a cafe. It was the kind of place that people felt at home, and they also partied, they had fun here. And I think a lot of the spirits congregated back here because that's where their friends were and that's where they had fun. The lights go off randomly. Right now, this light is off. It, it'll be a different light. Uh, every day, it'll be a different light. This light will probably come back on in an hour. This booth is notoriously haunted. It was Bugsy Siegel's booth, and he had a floor safe installed. And I've got another spot I wanna show you in the back of the train. So in the main bar is where I feel things. Uh, but in the train car is where I actually see things. I see silhouettes of people in the back of the train car behind the curtains. Now this is the oldest red car train in existence. It probably brought the ghosts of travelers along with it when it was put here and then it's filled with ghosts, you know, until today. This is Lem's booth. He would sit here because he could keep an eye on the front door and he could keep an eye on the kitchen. You should talk with Sunny. She's the one who's had the most experience with Lem and this booth. I'm Sunny, I'm a bartender here at Formosa, and it's true, this place is haunted. Run us through your experiences. The craziest thing that happened to me was I was standing here one night, I had patrons right here at the bar, and I turned around and I reached for this stack of glasses. We had not touched it all night. It hadn't been washed, there's no temperature difference, and I barely touch it with my fingertips right here, and the whole glass explodes. And it went right down here on the ground, like down into the left, and there was no glass anywhere in the well, in my hair, in my clothes, I was not cut. Other nights I have been hanging out on the little, in the rickshaw in the patio right out there. The other bartender who was here came running outside and she was like, where did that person go? I just saw a guy walk through the bar area. And I was like, 
nobody's here. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting like, I'm getting chills right now. Do you react well to these? Like you seem so like bubbly. Uh, I kind of just play it like that. I don't think it's malicious. It's just kind of like, hey, we're reminding you whose place this really is. They are friendly. Maybe they'll talk to you today while you're cooking. Good luck. So something just happened when we were in the kitchen setting up for cooking. Um, you can show <laughs> Come with me. So basically Mimo is helping us. She's our culinary producer uh, and she was helping us prep. And it was just sitting over in the kitchen by itself. All of the, like the peanut oil and the sesame oil was all spilled. We have a ghost hunting Here, tool. Gonna... She turned it towards the area where this tray was laying and straight up a silhouette of a man, a man standing on the counter. So the tray was, I put it right here next to like all these things. Yeah. And then I come back and it's all spilled and it's like glass and it's not broken. It doesn't make any sense. Like how does oil spill from that? So I've never made wonton soup before. This will be my first time. Yes. Are you seeing something? I just heard something. What did you hear? I don't know, kitchen noises, I guess. I'm wondering if Lem is gonna care the raising store bought stock. I'm sorry. We're gonna heat up some stock in the pot behind us. While Katie is getting the stock started, I have some shrimp here. We're just gonna roughly chop this. I'm not gonna do it so that it's super, super minced, uh, just because I like the chunks in there, in the wontons. All right, Lem, if you're here, can you give us a sign? Do you like shrimp and pork wontons? So we're gonna start combining our dumpling filling, which is gonna be some pork. <gasps> okay, okay, no joke, he's right here, guys. Ghost, I swear to God, do you see him? Yes. Do you see him? He's wearing an apron. I swear. Oh my God. This is an app. Does this, the app just represents where it's picking up a, a person? Why is he wearing an apron? So the shrimp's ready to go. Yes, I'm just gonna set this to the side. Oh. We have the pork here. The next thing we're gonna add, peanut oil. We're gonna do some sugar, some white pepper, cornstarch, salt. Some shouting wine. A little dash of sesame oil. Now we're just gonna mix this all together. I'm just using my hands. So I am folding in the roughly chopped shrimp. I left them slightly chunky, just because in wontons, when you get like a, a little bite of it, the shrimp juices make it really nice and moist. Jasmine, why don't you show me how you like to wrap your wonton? So usually I place it in the center. I take a little bit of water, thank you. Absolutely. I'm gonna fold this bottom part of the wonton wrapper upwards, nice and sealed. And then I'm gonna take these two corners and fold it over like this. Lem, if we are folding this correctly, can you give us a sign? Okay, so we've turned on an app that shows us like when voices spike and we hear things. So we can ask a question, then we'll see if anything responds. Lem or any other spirits present, please make yourself known. So the, the dumplings. Luigi? Wait. You heard that, right? Yeah. Did you guys hear that? That was weird. <laughs> that gave me chills right You guys now. reacted at the same, exact same time. Because there was something over here. Yes. Like something got knocked over. Yes, I heard that. But there's nothing over there to be knocked over. This is weird. So our wontons are done. Now we're going to prepare our vegetables. Well, Julian, some carrots. This was called war wonton soup. Pretty much it's like an everything wonton soup. Whatever you have at home, you kind of just throw things together and you got yourself a very hearty meal. The carrots are done. Let's, you want to prep the broccoli? Now I'm just cutting up the broccoli. I have these uh, florets. I'm just chopping them a little smaller. And now we're just prepping our bok choy. I just like to peel it like this and then give it a good wash because a lot of bugs get stuck in between the layers of the leaves. And let's finish with the last vegetable, which is the mushroom. Okay, you chop those up. I'm gonna start boiling water so we can blanch our vegetables okay. and cook our noodles. So I'm just removing the stems here and then we're gonna thinly slice them. Yeah, stuff definitely has happened today while we've been here, but I'm still kind of skeptical if that's my mind like playing, playing tricks on me. I don't know. I feel like it has to be something. We're cooking food that is so closely tied to like this restaurant's history. We're just gonna get to cooking. We're gonna blanch our mushrooms blanch our bok choy, our broccoli, our carrots. We don't want to over blanch them. We don't want them to be soft. Then we're going to boil our noodles. And for our noodles, we want them to be a little al dente as well. Our wontons. We stepped away for literally one minute and the fire is out. 
no one touched anything. Yeah. It's also not easy to bump into this. Well, you actually really can't touch it. You no. can't. Maybe the that ghost the doesn't sign. want us to be making this. Maybe he's like, it's done. We're just going to drain them and transfer them to our stock here. So we added our wontons into our stock. Now we are going to add, just careful your mic. Oh, How did that happen? What just happened? Are that is serious? so weird. Yeah. Her lob is on the counter, not on her. Wasn't it hooked onto your I jeans? literally just checked it and I didn't do that. That was weird. Now that we've added our wontons into the broth, we're just gonna add literally everything we just cooked. Our noodles. We've got our carrots, bok choy, broccoli. And our mushrooms. We're just gonna continue cooking this for about two minutes or so. I was just outside um, talking to the staff and they said that the crew that comes to clean at night used to clean around like 3 a.m. and they were like refused to do so now because of so many things that have happened. They said all of the glasses on the bar have been thrown down. They said like they've tried to take the mop away while they're mopping. Well, this is done. <laughs> so we're gonna put it in our bowl and then top it with some green onions, some bean sprouts, and some white pepper. Ooh, that looks so good. So soupy, so comforting. Lem is gonna be thanking us, or whoever's gonna be in the booth. So we are at Lem's booth, and we have left a seat right here for Lem to join us as we dine. Cheers. cheers! I don't know if we want to cheers. Cheers to all of the spirits. <laughs> yeah, thank you for yes. hosting us. Yeah. I just felt something weird on my leg. It was like someone pushed my leg. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I feel like the wonton soup is very comforting, very mm -hmm. homey. Mm -hmm. If any spirits were here right now, do you give us like one final sign? Are you guys doing that? No. Like, I, I just saw the lights, like the lights just went out. <laughs> They're right there. No one was near any of the light switches. This is really weird. Because they're they, over there, and they're over there, and no one was standing by them. This is kind of cool. I like. I thought nothing was going to happen today, and I feel like they're definitely here. I swear, I have goosebumps. Let's go have a quick drink at the bar, because I want to see, like, that's where most of the action's been happening. Final drink at the bar. This is where some of the most activity has happened, so we felt like we should just at least have a drink here. And I feel like the Formosa was known for drinks and going to the bar and coming here late. One of the most popular drinks was the Mai Tai, they said, so that's yep. what we're having a Mai Tai. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Our soup didn't get him here. This is gonna <laughs> Our soup, I think our soup got him. If there is a spirit presence, will you please send us a sign showing us that you are here? Perhaps I pick up a glass. Oh God, no, I don't want them to shatter next to me. Can you imagine? What? Those lights went out. No. Those lights went out again. Stop. I missed it. Oh! oh, 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 oh Those oh, lights went oh, off. Oh. The light over there went off. Oh. The lights went back on. Oh. So just to recap what happened, we asked for a sign for any spirits. All of the, those lights went off over there that were above the tables. And then the lights all around that like highlight all the headshots went out. And then came back on. Oh my, oh God. my, oh my gosh. gosh. And wow. again, no one by the lights. I was very skeptical that anything was going to happen today. I definitely think we made some kind of communication. Yeah, I, I think today I felt like there were ghosts here and it was confirmed that there are ghosts here. And I also think that food really does connect us all. I was scared before we got here and I'm leaving scared. <laughs> Cheers! If you guys love Halloween, then you're going to love Tasty's Halloween special. Make sure to check out Martha and Snoop's very tasty Halloween featuring Martha Stewart, Snoop Dogg, and our very own friend Alvin. It's now streaming on Peacock. Go watch it. Bye, guys. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye. Bye, girls. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lem. Bye, Lindy. Bye, Bugsy. Don't come home with us. Don't come home. Please don't come home with us.